Today, we are going to build with AI. Now, I have no technical experience but I'm very interested in AI coding tools because I do work in the tech industry. I'm a brand and marketing strategist. I help businesses develop their online presence. And I am particularly interested in how tech impacts us as human beings and how we connect with each other. Whether it's websites, apps, or even features that I wanna add to existing websites, I wanna show you what it's like to play around with these tools. I've already been playing around with them thanks to what I've learned from my friend Meg. She's an AI educator. I found her online. Go check out her videos. I'm gonna show you what the tools are that I use. A lot of the Build With AI videos that are out there right now are focused on very practical applications, which makes sense. It's just not how my brain works or what really lights me up as a creative. So first, I'm gonna show you a site that I've made with AI that is actually live. It's called Bubblegum Notes. This was a random idea that I had and I was able to bring it to life using these tools. So you pretty much go here, you put your quarter in the machine, a background sound. This one is so fun for me. Sometimes I look at it way too much during the day and put in the quarter way too much because I just think it's so cool that I was able to make this with no technical experience and I am ready to make more. I have a queue of ideas. If you're looking to be more creative and also get better at using these tools, I created a list of 10 random creative concepts for websites that you can use to get yourself started. And if you do try them, please tag me. I'm so interested. If you've been looking into building with AI, you've probably heard of Cursor. You've probably heard of Bubble. You might have come across Replit. I've been trying all of those, but Lovable has been the one that Meg has told me to focus on. And Lovable was the one that actually got me to get this website across the finish line. I have an idea and I want to go back and forth with Claude to see if it can help me refine it creatively. I find that I come across so many articles, newsletters that I want to come back to, but oftentimes during my day, especially as an entrepreneur, I just try to stay as focused and efficient as possible. So I tend to text myself those links, keep track of them in Notion. Do I follow up on those links? Not often. And I thought, what if there is somewhere for me to put all of those links and then there was some sort of browser extension, app, or website that I could click that randomly threw one of those links back to me when I do have time to go down an internet rabbit hole. So I'm going to experiment with that. I typed this into Claude, probably a little long-winded here, but I just wanted to take my idea and help me think of more creative concepts. I mentioned internet rabbit hole, but I I'm not feeling the rabbit hole thing today, even though that's like a very literal thing that people talk about. One idea that has been coming to mind is like pickleball or tennis. I'm kind of picturing that because it it is like this back and forth uh, that you have with your links. Okay, Claude loves this idea. So I'm gonna copy and paste this and see if it works. So here we are now on Lovable. I dropped the prompt here and Lovable named this serve and surf, like serve the tennis ball, surf the web. So I'm excited to see what it comes up with. Click the tennis ball to serve and discover new links. Interesting. So I'm gonna iterate on this and see if I can get it to look more realistic. Okay, I added some feedback to it to see if we could get the visual to look a little bit more realistic. I typed in some requests uh, to it to change the point of view of the user clicking the tennis ball. I want them to turn the cursor into a tennis racket. And I'm also going to ask them to add a whoosh sound and some animations on the ball going back and forth. This is kind of what I'm going for, where the ball would just come out of nowhere, the user would hit it, and then as soon as they hit it, it turns into an animated bubble with the new link. I just gave it a screenshot, so let's see what it comes up with. Hmm. It doesn't look like much of an improvement to me. Let me see if Claude could 
give me a better prompt. Claude asked it to do a complete redesign of the current interface. It said I couldn't apply your changes because the code that I suggested were the same as the previous code. I'm going to ask it to suggest new code and then the thing I'm gonna do after that is go back to Claude and see if Claude could somehow create new code to put into Lovable, but we might be hitting a dead end. Oh, here we go. So it created a 3D version. The court looks more realistic now. We hit the tennis ball, it spins, and then you get a pop-up. Interesting. It would be kind of cute if this was also a browser extension where, um, yeah, a little icon on top of your browser that was a tennis racket, and then somebody could click that, go to this site, hit the tennis ball, and then go to their link. I do love this idea. Can we make the tennis ball the tennis ball emoji? Yay, it worked. The tennis ball has been replaced with the tennis ball emoji and it should work. So we hit the tennis ball and then this comes up. Okay, we love that. I'm gonna try one more time to change the cursor. Let's see if there's a tennis racket emoji. Okay, there is no tennis racket emoji, but I'm gonna do one last try. I'm gonna go a little crazy and I'm gonna see if it can change the cursor into this tennis racket PNG that I found. For the record, I'm happy with where we are landing today. This is pretty far. I'm content with closing down the tabs after this, but I'm dropping this PNG into it and it's just the tennis racket with a transparent background. So I'm gonna put it in and let's see if this works. It showed up in the chat. Let's make, see if it can do this. So I dropped the PNG and I'm going to say, can you please make this PNG the cursor image? It's helping me update the cursor. It didn't work. Of course, we're going to try again. All right. Not quite. I, it says that it should work, but I just did a hard refresh and it is not working yet. I might troubleshoot that later. And if you click the link and there is a tennis racket on it, amazing. We're gonna go ahead and publish it. It publishes on a lovable domain and then you can always link it to a custom one. But this is the final product. So somebody can hit the tennis ball and then a new link will pop up. I'm excited to continue to workshop this one. I could have probably had the racket PNG become the cursor, but there's more I would have had to do taking this into GitHub, putting an image in a repository, et cetera, et cetera. I think I'll definitely be coming back to this project because I feel like there's a clear path for how I could finish it with AI, um, but you'll have to stay tuned for a part two of the video or you'll have to find this video years later and click on it and it'll work. <laughs> Overall, I just am really loving playing around with these apps. So let me know if you've played around with them, how you like them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me if you use the creative website ideas list, if you make any of those. If you're interested in videos around creativity, technology, how it's impacting us as human beings, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure to sign up for um, email updates or you can find me on social media. I'm gonna link the final product below as well as the Bubblegum Notes website and you can check it out. And I will see you soon in another video.